How many more bones will you crush? How many lives will you destroy in suit of what you call justice? You are the product of everything you fear. What remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. Perfect. One second. I was for Satan because uh, he has a product of what he fears. My Lord tells me about that. Interesting, huh? One second, girlfriends. There's your pretty face. There's Angelique Shorn. No, one second. Seems like it takes a while for this sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to choose this one for an announcement. And it's a picture called The Last Halloween. Rise of Sears, Rise of Sears, Rise of Sears, Padre Snap, Padre Snap, Padre Snap, Sherman Church, Thousand. Okay, girls, uh, this video is going to be called Last Halloween. The picture is called Last Halloween, too. And they mean it a different way because they have Batman. We're going to kill Batman. Uh, well, no. Uh, this is going to be a Last Halloween for Lucifer's people. And himself, too. But he gets to stay alive. God's going to allow him, that little cripple, to stay alive a little bit longer. Now, girls, I know and I heard, and you've been giving it to me supernaturally. This might be the last video that I'm going to give you girls. But I will make another video. If you want to listen and tag along and listen tomorrow, I'm going to be telling people on the Internet with my mask on, my Cobra mask on, and tell a lot of people that, guess what? Uh, I tell a lot of Christians what's going to be happening with my Lord helping me in my, my heart to know and understand what's happening this Halloween. Um, there's nothing to fear. I know I use a scarecrow, but that's for Satan's people. The trip on all that. Now, the thing is that uh, what's going to happen is that uh, a lot of... Uh, I know that you had to do what you had to do because I needed to tell you that. God wanted me to understand that those draconians that are the royal order of the Drifted Dragon are not for Jesus Christ. God told me those people, girlfriends, are the ones that are going to be the ones that are going to be torching my people. The royal order of the Defeated Dragon are going to be used to torture my, 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 my Lord and Savior's people if they catch them. So it's like, okay, these people are responsible for that. All right, well, I'm going to go do that, Father, and have the girls do that then. I said, because those people are, don't care. They only care. And I know, girls, I, I don't want to, you know, I know you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you told me psychic. What you tell me? I said, okay. Because I know you want to serve Christ. You'd rather serve Christ than be in that freaking hell hole that they put you in. And I, I totally agree. I, I want to be with Christ too. But Christ is loving. And you know that, you and your sister. Well, I'm going to slip it to another picture. Now, um, but anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to say that um, whatever happens, just know that I know you told me that they're going to kill us soon. They want to kill us soon or, or something. I said, oh yeah, maybe it's because I was threatening Satan that I'm going to kill, kill Corey. But with you, but with you girls as well. Uh, yeah. You know what? He wishes that he was killed, Satan. Because I think he's like Johnny Ringo from Tombstone. I think he just wishes he was never born. Just like what Doc Holly is a girlfriend. I said, I think, I think that. Anyway, uh, this is a message also to all of Satan and his people, too, as well. Yeah, you're not going to kill me and Eva. No, God told me you're not. We're going to survive it. 
Now, I'm going to be doing really good and try to pray for her sister because I don't see her sister in the vision. I am concerned for both women. I'm like you people. You don't care about other lineages. You only care about making them thrive. But you don't care about keeping them taken care of. You just treat them like kennel dogs and stuff like that. That's not right. The Lord and Savior offers these children right here that I have a better future. Um, you guys don't care about anyone. And you know what? I put that scarecrow video because, yeah, it's true. Because Satan, not Batman. I like Batman, but this is for the enemy. Satan is a product to what he fears. And God helped me to choose that. Pick that video. He is a, a Satan is a product to what he fears. And he is uh, deforming too. And although I like Scarecrow, like everyone else, although I like the character Scarecrow and Batman, Satan is really looking really, really bad and looking deformed. And he's probably looking more like Scarecrow every day. Because he's jacked up. God jacked him up. Really, really good. If that's such a word. Now what's going to happen is that Satan can only depend on the product of what he fears. And it's the things of violence. As the character says. Helplessness. And everything else like that. Because that's all that's all that Satan can depend on. Anyway. See? It says the last Halloween. Well, let's hope that we'll have many other days, but Halloween, that's okay. I, li I like it like everyone else. But you know what? You people have a nasty plan against us people with Halloween. You're tis tis. He gave me Eva and Selena. He gave me Eva. God gave me Eva Greens and Joy Greens. I killed your mind control words, didn't you guys? You never thought that that would happen. If you expected it and you lied to me, people, you're, you are lying to yourselves. You know God expected that. You know God gave me those words. You knew that. And he always tells me it doesn't even have to cost me anything to serve him. He just. All he wants is to me just to he all he wants me to do for him is just to obey him and just be obedient towards him and this is what happens when I do. Um, you guys have to do a lot of chores for Satan besides doing that, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. You should repent of your sins as friends and Illuminati people. You really should. Anyone out there that has any religion, you really should because God will make you prosperous if you really do right now. It's gonna get really ugly. I don't care about um, uh, about the elections or Obama's way of thinking or anything like that. He should repent too. And same thing goes for the false prophet, uh, Pope Francis too, because one thing's for sure, uh, you cannot you cannot survive without Christ. That's for sure. You you need Christ. Christ can only get through you through get you through the madness and get you through uh, better times in life. And reading his Bible about a word every day. But the choice is yours. I can't make that for you. Only God can lead you to make that right choice. So I'm just going to tell you guys right now, come to Christ. Come to Christ. Because uh, trick-or-treating is going to be a lot more, there will be a lot more tricks in treating. And when God gets done with all of you, it's not a good thing that's happening. So I'm saying that. Thanks. God will use your own tricks against yourselves, people. You Satanists out there that are serving Satan as in the high profile Satanists as well, the ones that are in suits and serve Satan. Yeah, you're you're in trouble. God's gonna use all your own tricks against you. You think we'll see about that. No, you're gonna slip on a banana peel. God's telling me that you people are gonna slip on an evil banana peel that he's gonna throw out there and make you slip and fall. And believe, you don't have to believe what I'm about to say, but it's true. God's used all the... Have you seen the witchcraft lately, you people? That's been used against your kingdom? That God's been using me to you to have these girls do that? Have you seen that? I do believe you have. That's another reason how come I think my friends have been telling me that 
uh, they want to kill us. Yeah, whatever. I'll pray for you. Don't worry about it. These people need to pray for themselves. They need to worry, not us. Whatever. That's how I, that's what I say to you girls. Whatever. I'll just pray for you girls. And myself. Whatever. But they're going to threaten us like that. They're threatening us because they're scared, ladies. They're scared of Jesus Christ. They're scared of our God. Alright. They're scared because their stuff's being thrown at them. And it's making it look really creepy for them. No. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. Um, Halloween's around the corner. You guys have got... You, you, Assyrians, Illuminati, talking to them now, girls. Um, you guys have um, been... Uh, you guys are going to die. Some of you might. And, and, and when the pit opens up, you guys are going to get stung. Stung. For five months. It's going to feel like death. And it even says in Revelation 9 about that. In those days, men will seek death and shall not find it because death, or something, death shall flee from them or something like that. Because it's excruciating pain. These freak things coming out of the pit is going to make people feel like they want to die. That are not protected by God. Not the seal of God on the foot. Thank you, fine. Um, but you guys know God's word. And you try to mess with it every day. You know you guys are already cursed with insanity. You know that, right? You know God has cursed you with insanity and if you say no I'm not they say hey think what you want to think man but I maybe I shouldn't say that to you people but that's just your choice okay you want to be cra you want to be crazy or insane that's your choice but don't bring it to anyone else's places especially Christians all right well I'm going to pray because I feel like I should even in a video like this Heavenly Father ask you to discuss your son or son of Jesus with all my sins Heavenly Father May your mighty and angels make sure a lot of Satanists, Luciferians, Illuminati members, uh, people that serve the devil tremendously, down with him so much, uh, come to your son Christ Jesus uh, before it's too late, before the pit opens up, during the pit opens up. And also, may a lot of them repent, and even those that are not Satanists but have not known you at all, uh, come to your son Christ Jesus uh, immediately uh, before the three days of darkness comes after this type of plague. Um, because of the killings that will happen for three days that are also excruciating plague. Uh, I ask all this in Jesus Christ's name, and uh, thank you, Father, for being such a good father to all of us on the earth and universes, helping us to have things in abundance and riches and anything that we children don't deserve, but you give it to us any because you show compassion to your love, your your children, and uh, everyone else in the world. Thank you so much for the blessed virgin deliverance of your son. Thanks, man. And please keep Miss Eva and Joy Green safe too, Father, and all of us in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, man. Okay, everyone. May God give you wisdom and knowledge, even even green some wisdom and knowledge too, and bravery and courage. And also, uh, a lot of those people that serve the enemy to have some uh, recollection to reconsider the offer that God has always given everybody, including them. And uh, have all that in Jesus Christ's name. And um, I don't know if you say it, Father. <laughs> I don't want to say happy. Um, you guys have a last Halloween, uh, Satanists. And uh, me and Eva Green and Joy Green will have a nice one. With Christ on. Peace.